you don't need to know anything about Python programming. With ChatGPT, you can give orders step by step and ask it to generate code for you. And you can use this code to retrieve information from a web page like this and turn it into an Excel file. Let's see. Hi, I'm Shu Yi. Today, I'll try to show you how to build a web scraper in Python without a single line of code written yourself. You just need to give it directions and then copy and paste. So before we start, I need to tell you there is a wrong way to use ChatGPT. That is to let it do something for you. For example, maybe you have seen that a lot of people, they use ChatGPT to build web scraper themselves. And then you tried the prompts they used from the uh, demo websites and it worked correctly. It turned out to be a success. However, when you try to use it in your own unique tasks, for example, a specific website you want to crawl data from, then something goes wrong and uh, a lot of people just uh, give up. They thought that ChatGPT is another toy, so you can play with it, but you cannot use it seriously. The reason that some people failed on using ChatGPT for their own work is that you asked it to write something for you. Oh, well, nowadays ChatGPT is not smart enough to do so. However, it is good enough to help you to write down codes. So the example is a website from my university. I work at Tianjin Normal University in Tianjin, China. So here is a web page on my university's websites. It is called State of Research. There is a list of research projects and research papers recently published. So what we need is to gather the title, the link, the date, and even the content for each link. I'll first show you the wrong way, so you can make a direct request. For example, ChatGPT, please write a crawler to crawl the article title, link, publication time, and content on HTTPS, the link itself. Well, it will give you this code, and you can click on this button to copy the code, and then paste it into a VS Code editor and run it. Well, you can see there is an error. So a lot of people just stop here. They thought, okay, it will go nowhere. But you can always try to ask ChatGPT to regenerate the result. So you can click on this button and then it will show you something new, a different piece of code. And you can copy it again and put it in VS Code. Well, this time there is no error. However, you got nothing. Why? It's because that ChatGPT is a language model, though it is called a large language model, but it's still a language model. There is no internet connection to it. So it doesn't know anything about the web page you give to it. You need to uh, give it some help and tips. We can get on this page and then use the inspection. When you move the mouse cursor, you can get the corresponding part on the web page. So you can locate to somewhere that is the class containing the things you want to have. So when you observe it carefully, there is a class name here and you can use the class name to try to uh, direct the chat GPT. Okay, I only want this part. So this time, I'll give the ChatGPT this specific prompt. It's called, I want to get the links and titles under the clause SDYW underline UL. And then it gives me something new. So we can copy the code, paste it in VS Code and run again. Well, this time we have got something back. And that is a huge improvement. But there is still something wrong. We got something, but they are not Chinese characters. You cannot read it. You cannot understand it. So we need to uh, correct it. It's in wrong kind of encoding system, so we need to give it another prompt. Please use encoding UTF-8. This encoding set is good for like Chinese and Japanese, this kind of characters. Now you can see here is a line telling the encoding should be UTF-8. Now let's copy the code, put it in VS Code and run again. Much better, this time we have got some Chinese characters. But there are still some existing issues. For example, the data information is not listed separately. So we need to tell the ChatGPT explicitly that I want to get the data information for each article. And this time we have got something new in the for loop. So we put it in VS Code and ran again. And this time you can see we have got the, the date for each item. But there are still some problems. For example, though we have got a date item, but we have got date in title too. And that is not good because the title line should be just the first line, not with the uh, new line sign and the uh, date itself. So we can tell ChatGPT for the title, only keep the first line. And this time, as you can see here, we have got a split. We put it here and ran again. And this time, as you can see, only the first line in title line is kept. 
and the rest of it, mainly the, uh, the date, the date information is ignored. We need to change the output format because we cannot just uh, put the uh, output in the console. We need to put it in the file. And the simplest format is a CSV file. We can ask ChatGPT, okay, put the result into a CSV file instead of printing in the console. And now we have got something new. We put it in VS Code and ran again. This time, there is no output. Don't worry, because there is a new file. You can open it and in this CSV file, you can see all the information that you need. But here, look into this link. The link is not good. If you click on it, it will get you nowhere. So the question is, the links are relative. We'll need to ask the chat GPT, okay, for each link, please add the HTTPS. That is the root link of my school. So we need to add that as a prefix. So we copy the code and we expect in this time, the outputs containing the uh, absolute links instead of the relative ones. And there is another problem. So when you open the CSV file in Excel, you can see a lot of things that you cannot recognize. They are not Chinese characters. So instead of CSV, let's try Excel. You can ask the ChatGPT to output to an Excel file instead of CSV. And here's the result ChatGPT gave us. And we put it into VS Code. Note that here we use a module called XLWT. It will write down the Excel file, but we do not need to understand anything about the API of this module. Just to run it. Okay, and when you open the new Excel file, you can see all the things are displayed correctly in Chinese characters. Very good. Apart from the title, the length, date, we also need the content for each article. So the next step is the article content crawling. For this part, we can ask ChatGPT, okay, for each link, get the text content and save in a new column, text, in the output Excel. Well, if you ask a human programmer to do it, maybe he cannot understand you 100% uh, correctly. However, ChatGPT does the work correctly. Here is the output and here is the result. So here you can see a new column and we have got a new content for each article. But there are still new problems. And this part showed rapidly in each item and is irrelevant with the content of the article. So it turns out that they are just links on each page. So it's the same. We do not want it. It's just redundant information. So we can do some adjustment. We can still use the inspection and try to figure out where the main content belong to. So here we can find a new class and this class name can be used to locate the content we need to retrieve. So this time we can ask the chat GPT for the content of each link. Only get a part under the class we use content. And here is the result. And here is the output. As you can see here, all the irrelevant information are removed. Very good. Till now we have asked the chat GPT to do a lot of things for us and we have got the result. But if we want to share the work with some teammates, we do not want to show them the whole procedure, the instructions we used step by step. Instead of the uh, iteration and the uh, conversation, I just want a one shot prompt. So here is my new prompt. ChatGPT, please summarize a prompt for the current code. And it gave me this. The current code is a Python script that uses the request and some blah, blah, blah library to script article titles, blah, blah, blah. And uh, here you can see the class name. The title of each article is only kept to the first line. Very good. And uh, prefixed with the, this one. Yes, good. And the text content for each article is only obtained from the part under this class. And uh, it should be output into a, uh, an Excel file named articles.excel. Very good. I, I opened a new conversation in ChartGPT and uh, put all the things there. And here is the code. I test it and it turns out it's good. So in summary, ChatGPT has great programming power. It has a very good memory, actually much better than mine. It can memorize the context during all this kind of uh, conversation, the iteration, and you can always update the code with one prompt. Though ChatGPT cannot program for you at the moment, it can help you in programming and save you a lot of time. You do not need to uh, look up the menu and to take a course or read a book thoroughly. You just need to tell the ChatGPT what you want exactly. Okay, here is an open question for the discussion. That is, what valuable work have you done with the ChatGPT? Please share your thoughts and comments in the discussion. Don't forget, subscribe to this channel and give me a like. Thank you very much. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for your attention and see you next time.